I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on trigonometric equations. We have considered few equations based on previous test papers. Here is a very important question. You need to solve this trigonometric equation sine x minus cos x by 2 equals to 0, where x is between minus 360 degrees to 360 degrees. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Well, you might need one or two formulas, which are half angle formulas. So let me give you the formula itself, which may be useful. One of the good formulas to use is sine of 2 theta equals to 2 sine theta cos theta. We also have formula for cos 2 theta, which could be written as cos square theta minus sine square theta, or could be written as 2 cos square theta minus 1, or 1 minus 2 sine square theta. Since we have half angle here, you could use one of these formulas to find the solution. Now here I have a very different approach which I want to share with you and that should help you to cut down on steps. So, so my approach rather strategy here is to, to break sine x into sine and cosine using this particular formula. Right, so, so the question here is sine x minus cos of x by 2 equals to 0. I am writing sine x as 2 sine x by 2 cos x by 2. Thereby, I got cos x by 2 as a common term. You see that? That's the beauty of this step. So I can now take cos x by 2 as a common term. So I get 2 sin x by 2 minus 1 equals to 0. So in this factored form, we are now looking for cos x by 2 equals to 0 and 2 sin x by 2 equals to 1 or you can say sin x by 2 equals to half. Is that clear to you? So I hope you understand and appreciate what we've done here. Perfect. Now, the other thing to work on is the domain for the answer. We have to provide solution within minus 360 to plus 360. How do we work on the domain? That's the second thing which we should really understand. So, but we are working with x by 2. We know that x is given to us as between 360 degrees and minus 360 degrees, right? But x by 2 is going to be half of it. So that is higher value of minus, minus 180 degrees to higher value of 180 degrees. So these two values. So we have to provide the x by 2 values within that so that the x is within the required domain of minus 360 to 360 degrees. Is that clear to you? Okay. So cosine function. We're looking for zeros in the cosine function. So whenever zeros are involved, I prefer to use cosine function graph. It is easier. And you can see that zeros are these points, right? Within our domain of minus 180 to plus 180, we get two zeros at plus minus 90 degrees. So for cos of x by 2 equals to 0, we get two solutions, which is x by 2 equals to minus 90 degrees or x by 2 equals to plus 90 degrees. So with that, you get the value of x as equal to 2 times minus 
90 is 180 degrees and plus 180 degrees. Is that clear to you? So that becomes one part of our solution. Now, let's look into the solution for the second equation, which is sine x by 2 equals to half. So for that, let's write down uh, x by 2 as equal to, so we have sine of x by 2 equals to half. That means x by 2 is equal to sine inverse of half. Now, you could use special triangles to get this particular solution, or you could use your calculator, right? So, so if you use any one of them, the answer which you are going to get is 30 degrees. X by 2 is 30 degrees. So what are the solutions which you should be considering? Well, we have to go with the angle alpha. So let me just show you this here. Sine is positive in the quadrants 1 and in 2. So when we are saying 30 degrees, we are saying that the angle here is 30 degrees and 150 degrees. So these are the two solutions which you get. And these I could write here on the right hand side as x by 2 equals to 30 degrees or 150 degrees, which is 180 minus 30. And then we get the value of x as 2 times, which is 60 degrees, and 2 times will give us 300 degrees. Now, you will notice that if I go negative value, then these two positive values are beyond the limit of minus 180, right? So 180 is kind of like this, but it's more than that, and therefore we do not get those values. So these are the values which we get finally. So let me now write down the answer, which is equal to, let's say we write minus 180 degrees. And we can say, we can write in any order. Let me write down those two first. And then we get 30 degrees, sorry, 60 degrees and 300 degrees. So these are the four answers for the given situation. So I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.